Hey everybody, welcome to Coffee Talk. Um, it is almost Easter, right? Can you, mm. are you excited for this? I'm excited oh, yeah. for this. I think the sun is out, it's like Easter's coming, there's, there's flowers and blossoms, it's like an amazing time of year. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, we've been actually with youth, I don't know if this has gotten to home to any of you, uh, we've been talking about some of those Easter traditions that you're like, how, how is that a thing? Like how is eggs or how, like, mm -hmm. how is the rabbit? Like how is that part of like, our Easter celebrations. And uh, uh, what I learned this week is that the whole Easter bunny, not necessarily Easter bunny, but like rabbits as a symbol for rebirth goes back like 3,000 years. Really? Like a thousand years before Jesus rose, there was already like uh, pagan cultures that were like that for us, the hair represents. So the Christians like were just like, yoink, yeah. that's now ours. Uh -huh. And mm -hmm. now it's a thing. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I still don't understand how that relates to chocolate, but whatever. Uh, I mean, you you said, guys know, you can tell me. You said Christians adopt that? Yeah, Christians just sort of said, like, we're going to take this okay. symbol and we're going to repurpose it. And now hmm. it's about Jesus. Okay. And uh, which, which makes me just think of like those, do you remember like the, the, all the t-shirts? Like when I was in, uh, like kind of around the late 90s, early 2000s, and it'd be like, instead of, it'd be like the crush logo, but it'd say Christ and stuff like that. And, and, <laughs> And I, I feel like uh, Christians were better at that a thousand years That's ago true. than true. twenty years ago. But well, anyways, no, maybe, uh, maybe even maybe even three thousand years ago yeah. there was there maybe they're pretty bad at it. But you know, right? All, all this time kind of gave us the We've, advantage. Sure. Anyways, uh, we want to talk Easter traditions this morning, and uh, and I know. We, we probably all have, I know as a parent, you know, we try and do things in a memorable way. And I've tried to think back on some of my Easter's past. Um, and like I confessed to these guys a minute ago, I have a hard enough time with last Easter, let alone Easter's long ago. But uh, I think you guys have some memorable Easter experiences. Kevin, why don't you start us off? Okay, so two things. The first yeah. one is when you said Easter is almost here. Yeah. Like it's like... Okay, I, I always remember like Easter Sunday, you had like a bit of an Easter egg hunt. Mm-hmm. So you actually didn't get a, like any chocolate until then. Yeah. But now I'm an adult and I can buy chocolate whenever I want. <laughs> so I've, I've gone through my I'm, share of... I'm a bit know, of a sh shame to say how many uh, Cad Cadbury, Cadbury mini, mini eggs, eggs have disappeared in our house. I don't yet. know if there's anything else that we would actually want. It's just the Cadbury mini eggs. <laughs> they're not advertising for them. They are pinnacle. I just wish you could get them in dark chocolate. Yeah. No. Okay. Oh, they'd be so much better if they were dark chocolate. But anyway, sorry, your, your story. Okay, so that's, that's the first thing. Past. The second thing is, uh, um, I think there's, I think there's a lot, a lot of Easter's that I remember. The one that kind of jumps out at me right at this point is when I was 17. Mm -hmm. uh, we did an Easter play at the church I was growing up in, oh, yeah. and um, and like we we had a very professional director and sets and costumes and everything. Yeah. I was Jesus, mm. and like. Lines memorized. How was your beard at people. seventeen? It actually wasn't too bad. Uh, I cu I got this part and and I was getting up here like yeah. so at seventeen it was coming in. Good for uh, you. They gave me a bit more of a of a top one mm -hmm. and it just barely stayed on. Once I started to sweat a little bit, it kind of lifted a oh, bit, yeah, but yeah. not bad. <laughs> but uh, I do remember uh, being loincloth Jesus as well. Uh -huh. So uh, so there was one scene where like after the after the yeah. <laughs> After the um, the Last Supper, mm -hmm. and then I go out, and yeah. then I get into this to this loincloth, and that's it. And then I'm I'm being led up with like all of these ketchup marks all over me. Oh, sure. And and they put me up on this cross and actually like raise me up, and I'm like super high up mm -hmm. as well. Mm -hmm. And then my brother, who is a centurion, we we had a, a big long pole with a thing at the yeah. end, and there was a big long. Um, a uh, uh, sponge thing, uh, not sponge, uh, not squeegee, whatever. He was, he was allowed to stab me, and at the same time, he pushes on the bottom, and tomato juice actually comes out oh. of the, of the wow. thing. That's a, that's so a serious effects here, budget. And, wow. and, I'm, and I'm hanging on these things, and it's yeah. this huge giant cross that this guy built. Yeah. And he gets to stab me, and I'm like, and, you know, yeah. all this yeah. tomato juice comes out. Right. And, uh, and then, yeah, and then I arose, and, and it was a wonderful day. And it was, it was a really big deal because it was like, um, um, we felt like at that time it was like, 
a really important way to say this is what happened. This is this is what Jesus did. Yeah. And so it was it was really significant to me in in that moment as a seventeen year old to be able yeah. to proclaim that to like a lot of adults, and it was I I felt like it was very powerful. And uh, you know, and like there's a lot of Easter's in between there where you know it's just all these other things. The, the other thing I remember about uh, a lot of Easter's is actually it feels like the first time I remember it being sunny. Mm-hmm. Like, other than that, it just feels like winter, 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 mm-hmm. Easter is sunny. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm really I, curious about that, like, I, the significance of hanging on the... Like, did that deepen your understanding, uh, feeling about it? Very like, much so. Yeah. 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 Wow. Yeah. What a... I, I marvel. That's nice that you have a real serious take. <laughs> I marvel at the restraint of an older brother who... <laughs> like, I would... If, if I'm planning... If I heard the plan for that, I'd be like, oh, this is the first Easter where Jesus gets stabbed 47 times. Like, uh, how, how did he not, no. like... It was, it was oh, actually, man. it was actually my, my kindest older brother. Oh, okay. <laughs> so we actually have to kept, keep telling him, no, harder. Oh. No, you're kind of just doing uh, this. Oh, oh, mm-hmm. really? Mm-hmm. No, Interesting. Stop. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Cause I, I could, I could picture a lot of siblings. Yeah. That mm-hmm. would just like. Oh, I think my kids would be all over that. <laughs> just go to, yeah, t- yeah, yeah we get to stab them. <laughs> free shots. Wow. Yeah. 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 Huh. All right. You know, it, it, as you're telling that, sharing that, it prompted me, like, Ed Stetzer tweeted out just this week, like, he's looking for, uh, like, Easter service mishaps. Oh. Yeah. On, yeah. And, his, and people are, like, writing in, and one guy's, like, a similar thing where Jesus gets lifted up on the cross and falls off. Oh, yeah. no. And I'm like, this is amazing. So, I don't know, if you're on Twitter and you want to yeah. have a chuckle, uh, go check that out. But, uh, Jeff, what's your, what's yeah. your Easter so, um, memorable? Mine was a bit, bit more... Self-centered. <laughs> That's brilliant. Uh, sort of. Um, my most memorable Easter was. Oh, I should be. I should be able to remember the year. Probably 1997. Uh, I had been. I think I've told a little bit of this story. So if not, um, you'll have to just ask me. I. I had been interested in Cheryl, my wife, who, who wasn't my wife. For a long time, and finally, there was kind of like, oh, she might be interested, and she wants me, she was living in Japan, so she wants me to come to Japan, so I, I, I had told her I, I, I'd like to come, but it's not for Japan, I'm coming for you, right? And I came on Easter weekend, I was working um, a job that uh, gave you Friday and Monday off, and then, uh, so I just added four days on, and so I went through for uh, Easter weekend, and so that, I was in Japan with this woman who I, I was just head over heels for. Uh, we were starting to date in during that week, um, and I got to spend Easter with her in Japan. Uh, cherry blossoms were coming out, and that's a big thing people celebrate. And and the sun was out, like you said, and uh, and then I was with my soon-to-be fiance, soon-to-be bride. So that was pretty memorable. Yeah. I uh, that thanks. Uh, I yeah. You can tell you've been married a long time. You're like here <laughs> is a, uh, because yeah. I had a similar experience, and it was the Easter of 06. Oh, uh-huh. six. I remember the Easter. Uh, but I want to first <laughs> go back a little bit because I do remember. Here's what I remember about Easter as a kid from being in church. I remember a lot of really early mornings. I remember like sunrise services were a thing. Mm-hmm. And I remember like sometimes we go down to the beach, the beach mm-hmm. that faced east. So we would like, I'd, like I don't know, if maybe it wasn't 6 a.m. In my brain, it was 6 a.m. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I remember shivering on the beach, and I'm like, oh, let's get this over with, because back <laughs> at the church, there's, like, breakfast. Like, come on. And I remember that then there was Ian Easter where, in our church, they decided, let's build, like, a replica tomb in the backyard. Okay, and then we'd gather around. So we, I do remember some of that stuff. But the Easter I think I should share about is, is kind of dovetailing off of that, because for Sheena's family, the tradition was go have a big family to do on, you know, on the Gulf Islands at the family property there. And so they did that. And in the Easter of 06, this was my like introduction Mm. to William's family. (laughs) And it, it did not go terribly smooth all the time. (laughs) (laughs) I remember, I remember uh, there, like there was, first off, I remember dragging them all over the island because I'm like, this is my first time here. Let's go see this and see this and see this. And I thought it was all part of the family tradition. No one told me like, 
like, we don't do this. This is weird. Uh, <laughs> uh, until afterwards, and Sheena's like, thanks. Like, I, we've never been there. We've never been there. We've never done that. We've never done that. And I went, why? I'm like, anyway, so that was just, so like, they're like, this is this weirdo who makes us do stuff. And we just want to like <laughs> shoot potatoes at the seals and stuff. Uh, and I remember one evening we were playing sardines. And I'm like 20, whatever. Uh, and I'm like, okay, fine, we'll play sardines. Because all her siblings are younger, right? And uh, so we're doing that. And I thought it would be awesome to like hide under the bed in one of the bedrooms. The problem was I didn't realize at the time as I wiggled under there, the bed uh, was just resting on bricks to get it up off the floor a little bit. And so I raised it up off the blocks and in the meantime, the curtains swung under. And so in the whole point of getting out from under the bed, I destroyed the place. <laughs> like the curtains came crashing down. Oh, no. The bed was off the blocks. <laughs> like the slats in it all. It was, it was a mess. And I'm like, thanks for having me. Uh, <laughs> nice knowing you. I mean, hey, you know, we're now, we're now married, but, uh, which is great. They didn't, they didn't afterwards go to her, to my knowledge, and say, you should second guess them. <laughs> yeah. uh, they're great about it. But uh, man, it was it was one of those. Um, it was also like the first Easter where I'm like, this is this is so, you know, it's different for all of us. But uh, uh, sometimes those mishaps are the memorable parts, mm -hmm. right? Like mm -hmm. you remember cherry blossoms. I think you'd know the year better if like something, <laughs> you know, a little more major happened. But uh, hey, it's all good. Uh, you know, we have, uh, I think it's, it's kind of fun to look back sometimes mm -hmm. on, on, you know, Easter's or ho holidays past because there are times where it can be memorable, especially for imparting faith to kids, you know, when you can bring it together in helpful ways. It, it's really, mm -hmm. it's really good. So mm -hmm. uh, whatever memorable looks like for you guys, you know, share some of those stories. It's kind of fun to kind mm -hmm. of look back a bit. Yeah. But uh, looking forward now, uh, we, we come to G Good Friday first. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, you so know, good, what's good Friday when, when you're watching this, it'll be tomorrow. Mm -hmm. And, um, and so it's 10 AM at Emmanuel church. And I think there's six, six ish. Yeah. About that six ish churches that are involved. And, um, each one kind of has a little part in the, the service as well too. And, um, the, the idea being that like, we actually all can kind of be doing this together and serve mm -hmm. one another. And, and, mm -hmm. and even somebody said, you know, uh, earlier this week, I'm excited to just be with people that I know from our community who maybe don't go to Lakeview, yeah. but are a part of another church, but feel like they're part of our church. And we haven't seen them in a couple of years mm -hmm. and to just reconnect with some of those people. And not that you have to wait till good Friday, but actually being together on Good Friday makes it actually a little bit more significant, totally. mm -hmm. right? So it's, it's, not just, it's not just going to a friend's house for supper. It's actually like being together and, and praising God and, and doing it together. And so that's uh, Good Friday um, yeah. uh, at Emmanuel Church. It's on uh, Hebert Road, Herbert Road, Hebert Road. I um, Hebert. Yeah. Uh, here's a link to a Google map. <laughs> we'll do that. So we'll look it up and get it official. And 10 a.m., right? 10 a.m. So now... The service starts at 10 a.m., but if you want to find a seat and parking, yes. like probably come early, right? Yes, you and, know? and it's not being streamed online. Right, so if you really want to be part of it, I mean, they have the largest auditorium in, in the West Side, yep. so mm -hmm. it, that's why we're there. Yeah. Um, there's lots of seating, but at the same time, it's hard to know how full it's going to be. Yeah. It really yeah. is, right? Yeah. In previous years, it has been like quite dense, yeah. uh, and yet... Maybe not this year. We just don't know. There is a kids program. I, I say that hesitantly just because I don't really know the details, but the plan is that in a side room, there, you know, kind of uh, often in the past they've used the gym and, and the chapel area had a program for kids. That's like right at the start. Mm -hmm. So especially if you're coming with kids, you know, a few minutes early to get them registered and dropped off mm -hmm. before you find your seat in the auditorium uh, is super helpful. So that's, you know, that's, that, that's part of it. Friday... 10 a.m. at Emmanuel, and uh, looking forward to it. I was actually, uh, had a conversation about it just Tuesday evening. Someone was asking about it, like, you know, is it, what's it like? Is it going to be weird? Like, do we know? And so to share, my answer was this. My, the thing I find joy in is when we as churches come together and worship together. Mm -hmm. And I see on the stage, I'm like, oh, yeah, that's Phil from Emmanuel, and, and Kevin's up there, and a person from, you know, Potter's House, and this. And it's, and, and the harmony and unity that is expressed in that is mm -hmm. awesome. Mm -hmm. And when you have different pastors all together, and you, and you look around the room, and I, I'm sorry, us Baptists, I, I kind of threw some shade at us, and I, I, 
I own it, right? You'll look around the room and you'll see some Baptists like, oh yeah, we're praising. And then you see like the Pentecostals and they're like, ah, that's awesome. I just, I think that's beautiful because I think it's a little picture of heaven. Mm -hmm. And I, I will look at that room and I go, this is incredible because we have a single focus and that is praising Jesus Christ. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I just think the more we can do that, the better we are. As the West Kelowna Evangelical Church. Yes, right? Yep. And, and so it is such a beautiful thing, and I'm mm -hmm. glad we're doing it. And so uh, we look forward to seeing you there Friday, 10 a.m., and uh, then Sunday. And Sunday. Right? That's right. Sunday, we've been talking about how it's going to be this communal thing. Jeff, uh, remind yeah. us what's that, what that's going to look like. Yeah, be ready to say he is risen indeed because we say he is risen, he mm -hmm. is risen indeed. Uh, we celebrate the resurrection and we, we are just excited that we can celebrate together. Uh, we haven't, what, two years, I think, since we've been able to do that. And so uh, we are going to do... Uh, tables. We're going to be around tables. We're going to have some a light continental breakfast. Uh, don't come super hungry. It's not that kind of, but it's, it's around food so that we can talk together, share together, celebrate Jesus together. We want to connect that way. We'll worship together and we will discuss John 21, uh, where Peter, Jesus approaches Peter. And so we're pretty excited about that. We'll have opportunities for you to discuss some things and tables. Uh, I'll share a little bit. Um, and it will be just a good time of celebrating the risen Jesus together on, on Easter. So, yeah, that's what's, uh, that's what's planned for Sunday. Uh, it's both, uh, if, if we are going to have it online, we will uh, we'll start everything at 10. Uh, we'll have something for those of you who are, are, are not with us in the room, but with us online, and then we will uh, uh, be together for um, for the service part. So, yeah, be really Super. good. Sounds great. Looking forward to it. <clears throat> hey, thanks for spending a few minutes with us. We'll see you on the weekend, and uh, happy happy almost Easter, everyone. We'll see you soon. Okay, we're good. Yeah. In practice, it's way better. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let me stop this and start again. All right.